So, so this is a method of completing the square, which is going to allow us to read off the turning point. And hence state the turning point. So first this method, which we're going to call equating coefficients. So let's look at those two words. Equating means just making equal. And coefficients are the multipliers of the terms. So if we looked at this one, the coefficient of the x squared is 1. The coefficient of the 6x is 6. The coefficient of the 9 is just the 9. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from this equation. We'll see how we end up with the completed square form. Say it's plus or minus, but let's just pretend that it's plus right now. Because whatever the value of A is or B is, if it turns out to be negative, it will still sort, sort itself out. If I break out this bracket, I'm going to get X plus A, X plus A plus B. Now let's multiply that out. We get X squared plus ax plus ax plus a squared plus b and then if we simplify that we'd get x squared plus 2ax plus a squared plus b. It looks really complicated but that's just a general equation of any broken out complete square form quadratic. Okay so now we get on to why we can use this, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this below this equation. hopefully see is that looks very similar to each other and if we compare each of the terms and that's what I mean by equating the coefficients what is the coefficient of the x squared there's no number there which means it is 1 what is the coefficient of the x squared here is also 1 so that makes sense but that's not gonna help us solve it what is the coefficient of the x term it is 6 but if you look here what is the coefficient of the x term is 2a. So what I can write down by equating the coefficients is 2a must equal 6. So a must equal 3, which will then help us solve for the other one. Because if we see here, if equating the coefficients, the, the constant is 9, and in this one it's a squared plus b. So that means that a squared plus b equals 9 just worked out what a is. 3 squared is 9. 9 plus b equals 9, which means b equals 0. And now I have the equation that I can just write down. As you see, it's x plus or minus a. a is 3. Plus or minus b. b is 0. So we just leave it like that. Okay, so let's do another one. I'll rewrite this. And let's equate the coefficients. Negative 10 is the coefficient of the x, 2a is the coefficient of the x, which means that 2a equals negative 10, which means a equals negative 5. And you see what I mean is it doesn't matter here that I used a positive because ultimately it came out that a was negative, so that sorts it later anyway. And now a squared plus b equals 2. So then negative 5 squared plus b equals 2. Negative 5 squared is 25. So b equals 2 minus 25, which is negative 23. So then I can write out that y will equal 
x minus 5 all squared minus 23. Okay, so that was the two equations there. I'm going to do a slightly more complicated one. Where the coefficient of the x squared is not 1. Okay, so let's look at this in more detail. Like before, we're going to break out this bracket. break it out and we get a x squared plus bx plus bx plus b squared plus c. So we get a x squared plus a 2a b x because bx plus bx would be 2bx times by a would be 2abx plus ab squared plus c. Okay, now it's really complicated, but what I'm hopefully going to do is show you that it's actually not too bad. So if I rewrite it underneath here. So we can see that the coefficient of the x squared is 3 and the coefficient of the x squared is a. So that therefore means a equals 3. The coefficient of the x is 12 and the coefficient of the x is 2ab. So I can write 2ab equals 12. We know that a is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So 6b equals 12, so b equals 2. And lastly, the coefficient of the constant is 1, and that's ab squared plus c. So we do ab squared plus c equals 1. We know that a is 3. We know that b is 2. And we're solving for c. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus c equals 1, so c equals 1 minus 12, which is negative 11, which means that our completed square, this is y equals, is a 3, x plus 2 squared minus 11, which means that our turning point is negative 2, negative 11. Turning point is negative three, zero, five, negative twenty three. Should probably remember to do that at the correct order. Okay, so that's completing the square.